Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making an easy sausage breakfast casserole. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. This is a favorite breakfast dish in my family for brunch because I'm not up that early. You can make this ahead of time, which is the beauty of this thing. So use your preferred vegetables and your preferred meat. This is how great this is. Now I've gone ahead and cracked my eggs into the bowl with the vegetables that I just diced up and I'm adding my garlic and salt and pepper and I'm giving this a good mix. Once you're done with that, set that aside and grab your preferred choice of meat. I'm using this because it's what I had on hand, but use ham, bacon, turkey sausage, your favorite kind. It really doesn't matter. This is very versatile and very, very easy to do. This doesn't have to be chopped nice and perfectly. It can be chopped any way you want to chop it up. I'm going to give it a rough chop after I'm done slicing it up just so I can have them in big chunks. If you want to, you can combine a bunch of different meats together and then this would make a really great breakfast or brunch meal. Or you can skip the meat all together if you'd like. Now grab your casserole dish and spray it down with some cooking spray. You can see the big mess that it made for me, but it's fine, it all worked out. I'm using four cups of shredded hash browns and I'm pouring it right into my dish and I'm gonna spread it out as evenly as I can. Then I'm gonna just throw my meat on top. I'm placing half of the sausages that I just cut up right on top. And then, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason, just dump it in there however you'd like. Grab your egg mixture bowl and pour that on top. Use your fork to help distribute the egg around evenly just so you can have it on the edges as well. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and grab the rest of your sausage and place it on top. I place it in when I, wherever it is that I saw a little bit more, less meaty I guess you could say, and just spread it around. And then I added cheese. Add as much or little cheese as you'd like. I used about one and a half cups. This is a Monterey Kobe blend. Use your preferred cheese that'll melt right on top. Once you're finished adding as much or little cheese as you'd like, grab a piece of aluminum foil, cover your casserole dish, pop it in the oven, and bake it for 30 minutes covered. 30 minutes later, look at our melty cheesy goodness. My goodness, doesn't that look good? Once you have your top off and the rest of your ingredients back inside of your casserole dish, pop it right back in the oven for 20 minutes uncovered. And this is the final outcome. Again, this is a family favor for us. And we finished, all four of us finished this dish. So <laughs> we eat a lot or we really like this, I don't know. But go ahead and plate it however you'd like it. It cuts up into nine lovely pieces and enjoy your breakfast or brunch. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.